Hi guys, today we're here to talk to you about this, the Victor, with a K, Victor. from Falco. And it's a kind of, what would you describe it as, a high top? It's like a high top, trendy, trainery boot. Yeah, I mean, I, I think literally, as an introduction, that's all we can say and that's all we shall say, correct? Correct. So, who are these for? Uh, actually, you might look at them and think trainers, but yeah. actually they're for quite a lot of riders. I mean, let's start kind of at the bottom, and that's not in a derogatory sense at all, but scooter riders. Mm -hmm. You know, we know lots of young scooter riders who just jump on in trainers. I mean, that's what we used to do in our 50s back in the day. But if you're a parent, you're thinking, well, I still want to get you trainers, but let's get you something that's built properly with some protection. So scooter riders, um, commuters, people who just commute in, in like London, for example. Mm -hmm. like we've got friends who commute from one end of yep. London to the other. Something like this is perfect. They don't have to fully boot up. Boot up. It's protective. And when it's really hot, it means you're not getting too hot either and just for maybe even just summer wear is when you've got I don't know a pair of PMJ jeans on or something just bang these on go for a bit of a ride I'm not sure I'd maybe want to go touring for weeks in them but that's not what these are about no so then what are these made from aha well these are made from a micro synth kind of man-made I don't want to use the word pretend but it's kind of leather but not from a cow mm because you know we can we can shoot spacecraft around the universe now so goddamn we can make good non cow leather yes, and this is partly what this is made from yeah ex exactly that um, and it's as you can see it's all on the outer here all the way along there you've got some kind of cool looking panels there we have a grippy sole mm -hmm. on the bottom which will do the job when you Put your foot down on diesel, no doubt, which we've all done before. That's always a little scary. Yep. Oh my God, that's a, that is a bit of a scary one. Um, we have a reinforced toe. If you can try really push down on that. And I also see the infamous D three O. Yeah, because we have uh -huh. some ankle cups. Yep. Okay, we all know D three O is really good stuff. So we have the ankle cups as well. Obviously, it's laces yes. done up. And um, you know, I mean, I'm quite a messy lacy person. Yes, what can sure we do are. about this with the Victor, Gemma? Well, I do see here that we have a nice garage, lace garage. So you can just pop your laces down there and it won't get caught in, what, say, your chain. Laces garage? Not as lame as it sounds because, no. yes, as you say, uh, I have seen laces come undone before and I have no. seen people's... Actually, usually, uh, the one that usually happens is a lace is come undone on the left-hand side and it wraps around the gear lever people don't notice and they go to stop at traffic lights to go to put their foot out and they end up going over and yes that has actually happened to me long ago in the past it has happened <laughs> so um the little laces garage thing you know what sweet really really great yeah so uh, we've got this nice little camouflage area here that's right that is just for a bit of style and you can but you can kind of see well that looks like that'll wet let water in right Mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. That's mm -mm. right, there is a high tex membrane all the way through this which helps keep you, I mean obviously if you're pouring water directly into the top of a boot, it ain't going to stay dry. Mm -hmm. But if you've got your trousers over, if you've got some kind of waterproof trouser over this covering it, well the membrane goes all the way to the top and so directly under the camouflage stuff right there is the membrane. Sweet. So you've got cool looking stuff and cool working stuff. I know, I know, right? I know. And you know what? I think that is about it. I mean, it's obviously very comfortable. If you feel inside, it's got the sole is very comfortable as well. And there's not really much more else to say apart from they are as protective as this kind of high booty trainery thing can be. They don't break the bank. Your feet will definitely be safer in these than a pair of boots from, I don't know, millets or some trainers from wherever you buy trainers from these days. And that is their job. Yeah. And you know what? With what trainers cost at the moment, they're not that much more expensive either. No, stylish protection. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, sizes wise, these go from sizes six to about 11, 11 and a half, Chris? Correct. Okay, cool. And um, there's only one place to go. There is. If you want to know more, any more information, do you know where that is? I bet I do. Are you going to say it? I am. Go on then. It's bikeheads.co.uk. <laughs> I'll let her have that one. <laughs>